the challenge of map makers is to find a way to take the shape of the globe and to transfer that onto a flat surface. And to think about this task, how many people here have ever tried to peel an orange and to keep the peel in one piece? Raise your hands if you ever tried to do that. OK, well, about two-thirds of the people here. Um, I tried to do this earlier today with, in fact, some clementines. And I had some very interesting results, all of which resulted in very ugly maps. No matter what you do, it's impossible to totally flatten it out. And that illustrates the point. You can't make a round globe into a totally flat surface. Is there a best way to peel an orange? Is one way better than another? They're just different. There are many ways you can peel an orange. You can peel it all around so it spirals around. You can sort of split it and peel each piece off. Or you can just sort of do it at random. But however you do it clearly isn't a best way to peel an orange. The, w the way that map makers do this is to imagine a light bulb in the middle of the globe and then shining through the surface of the globe and projecting, that's why they call them projections, projecting the surface of the land and the water on that cylinder that surrounds the round globe. Now, this actually isn't how cartographers do it. It's done with mathematical formulas, but it's as if it were projected out like that. And then you can slice the cylinder anywhere you want and then unwrap it, and presto, you have a flat map. So that particular projection is called a cylindrical projection. And you've got the second type down is an azimuthal, or projecting the globe onto a plane good for a continent like Antarctica, represents it well. Or the third one is a conical projection, good for just, again, a certain area. So these are three ways of translating the round globe onto a flat surface. Is one better than another? They're just different. Let's look at four different kinds of map projections. And instead of the globe, let's try an experiment and project a human face. The first projection that you see there is a projection of a face on a Robinson projection. And then that face is translated to a Mercator projection. And then it's transferred to a sinusoidal and then to a Malvidi. Is it the same face? Mm, yeah, sort of. Or, but it's different because different things are emphasized. So each map projection gives you a different vantage point, a different frame of reference, a different way of seeing it. If you look at the Mercator, the chin is a little bit bigger and the forehead is bigger. And if you look at the sinusoidal, those things are contracted in. So it all depends upon what's important to you, what you're emphasizing, what your concerns are to determine which projection you would pick.